Moderna recently gave an update on its new cancer vaccine. When combined with the drug Keytruda, it cut the chance of late-stage skin cancer from returning after three years by 49%. Since the news was announced, Moderna stock has gained about 24%, taking the market cap to $38 billion. Despite that, shares are still down 44% over the past year. The fall in share price is hardly surprising since demand for Moderna's COVID vaccine, its only commercial product, has collapsed. You can see that revenue grew from 60 million in 2019 to 19 billion in 2021, but it's fallen below 10 billion this year and management expects next year's revenue to be only 4 billion. On the plus side, Moderna has held on to lots of the cash it made during the pandemic. With 2.9 billion of cash and equivalents and 10 billion of investments, the company's enterprise value is much lower than its market cap at 25 billion. Moderna's cash position has also allowed the company to move at a much faster pace. Prior to 2020, the company spent only $500 million on R&D. Over the last 12 months, the company has spent $4.5 billion, and that is helping the company to build a pipeline of exciting new products. What isn't so good, however, is that between the fourth quarter of 2021 and the second quarter of 2023, Moderna spent $5 billion on share buybacks. Considering the share price is sharply lower, that may not have been the best use of funds. Looking at valuation multiples here makes little sense. Instead, investors need to consider the potential of future vaccines and that requires deep research into the progress of trials and economic viability. Vaccines are expected to play a significant role in the treatment of cancer and the global oncology market is expected to reach $360 billion by 2028. If Moderna can capture just 2% of that market, it could boost its top line revenues by over $7 billion a year and the stock would likely benefit too. There's a high degree of uncertainty. Moderna still only has one commercial product and there's no guarantee that its cancer vaccine will be effective or viable. Even if approved, it will take some time to get the product to market. Management thinks a launch could happen in 2025. But Moderna is already building a factory in Massachusetts to get its supply ready and it has started another phase 3 trial against lung cancer as well. Overall, this is a high risk investment but I rate it a cautious buy. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice and I've got no position in Moderna stock. For more investing videos, visit my website 3minutebreakdownstock.com. Thank you for watching.